Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our series on blend modes, we now come to the darker color blend. Not very commonly used, but it does have its uses. So as a reminder that we have a layer underneath the base layer and that above that is the blend layer and the blend formula combines these to give you the result that you see. The darken blend group, all of these will have some form of darkening effect. Darker colour is at the bottom of that. The calculation for it is um, a little bit different and what it does is it actually combines the red, green and blue for the base layer and for the blend layer to figure out which is the lighter or darker colour. So in other words, so for each pixel the darker colour from either the base or the blend layers are shown. The question is how do you decide whether colours are darker or lighter? And you can do it by kind of looking at this. And here you've got, you go from blue all the way through to yellow and each one here is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And there's a formula that is used with that, which I'm going to talk about in the next video on the calculations. But for now, you can just see that some colours are lighter and darker perceptually, because this is what you're seeing, than others. We can do this in with a, just a basic example here. And say I've got red and magenta here. And I can pick one of these, so I use the move tool. I'll grab the magenta one and I'll pull it over the top here and because it's on top on the layer stack then you're going to see magenta. But if I change the blend mode of this to darker colour which is going to come through is the the magenta going to win or the red going to win? Well from that list of colours magenta is a lighter colour than red. Red is seen generally as being darker even though it's attractive colour it is still darker. And so if I go to normal here, go down to darker colour, and there you go, red wins. If I take this now and I start changing the colour of this, and I make this darker, so that it's the top layer that's getting darker, there's a point at which you go see that it flips. It is now darker than red, so it wins. And so that overall is the effect you're getting when you have one or the other. Let's just go back to this one here and just look on this and just point out a few key things. It often appears when you're using the darken color, its often effect is it looks the same as the darken blend modes. If you're just scanning through, you're saying it's just like darken, but sometimes it's different. Um, it compares the luminosity, this lightness, uh, and picks up the darker ones, the darker colour it chooses. Black is still transparent, as in all of the blend modes. And it is swappable, in other words, it doesn't matter which way around the blend layer and the uh, base layer are, we say it's commutative. Typical uses, things like selecting dark colours, tinting shadows, and so on. We're going to do another video in which I'm going to show you a number of different effects in the same video of what you can do with the darken colour blend mode. But for now, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.